I'm 53 years old. I live in San Diego with my wife and my children, and I'm a homeowner. I am retired uh, from the county of San Diego. I was a child protective services worker and supervisor. I bought about $219 worth of tile, which here might cost like $400 or $500, and I loaded up my, my car. I breezed right through the border checkpoint that just showed the uh, office of my tile and my receipt, and, uh, and I was on my way. I didn't search the car or the trunk or anything. And I... It was probably about 20 minutes uh, uh, on the 94 freeway, uh, whereupon it was coming around a, uh, around a bend, and I... And I saw um, a, a, a border, a border cro it looked like a new, another border crossing checkpoint of some kind. And I, and I had my passports with me uh, because I had just come back from Mexico. And, and he said, where are you coming from? And I said, oh, I'm coming from Takati, Mexico. I just bought some tile. And he goes, uh, oh, uh, can I see some ID? And I said, sure, here's my passports. And he goes, may I have consent to open your trunk, to look in your trunk? I wasn't speeding or, or anything, or you know, I'm not a drunk driver. I'm, I'm just a regular guy driving down the road with his wife and a couple of boxes of tile on my car. And at that point, um, um, I said, I'm a member of the ACLU. I, I, uh, this is wrong. I, I not opened my trunk in a matter of principle. Um, and, and they said, what are you doing? Where are you coming from? And I repeated my story. Uh, and they said, well, go sit on that bench. Uh, and, they, and they said, and as I was walking the bench, he says, if you don't open your trunk, I'm bringing out my dogs. I felt like, wow, what if, what if uh, somebody knows me drives by and they see me sitting on a bench with dogs and uh, four cops standing next to me, uh, and I'm, I'm sitting here with uh, some tall officer guarding me like I'm some kind of uh, felon or convict or something. Uh, and, and the dogs are barking and they're running and, they, and they, there's, all these, there's all this like commotion going on around your car. It's uh, my little Toyota Corolla. And then he marched back and he said, give me your keys. Uh, the dog smelled something and I have the right to look in your car. I, I can't believe that. They, when I come back from Mexico, they didn't open my trunk then. Uh, but then a half hour later in the United States, 20 minutes, half hour later, they're opening my trunk and searching my ransack in my car. I, I didn't feel like I was in the United States. I felt like I was in some kind of police state. Uh, I was thinking of these old B-rated Nazi movies where they pull over people at checkpoints and go, papers, please, or something. And, and he starts looking at the passport and the driver's license. And he goes, and he goes to my wife, well, where were you born? Because uh, she has an accent, and, and she's, he, but she's a U.S. citizen. And so she says, oh, I'm from, I was born in Syria. And he goes, ah, oh, Syrian, you know, like, like you hit the, the, like the jackpot or something. Uh, my family's been in the United States since 1710 in uh, New Jersey. We were farmers in New Jersey. Uh, my direct ancestor was a Presbyterian minister for Hackettstown during this Revolutionary War. Uh, and, and here, my family's lived in the United States since before there was the United States. And now I'm actually feeling nervous when I'm going to work on my own rentals and doing work in San Ysidro that I may get pulled over by a border patrol and asked, uh, where's your passport? And now I have to carry my passport with me when I go out to, to Home Depot or something. Uh, I, don't, I don't need this kind of grief. I don't need this kind of harassment. I'm, I'm afraid these, these guys might, uh, for whatever reason, because, uh, because I'm talking to you or because I... Uh, uh, because I I, I filed a complaint after I got back with uh, with uh, with the border patrol. Uh, there's at their website. Um, now I I'm doubly afraid. Now they I don't know why they took copies of my passport and my papers. What are they going to keep a record on me or something? Going to open a record? They they check in me out or, or something? And uh, uh, they're going to keep file me? Will I be able to? Uh, is is there something beyond this? I feel that. Uh, when I'm going out in San Diego County, if I'm going to the supermarket, the store, anywhere, I, maybe I should bring my passport with me to, in case I get stopped or, or something. Uh, maybe my driver's license won't, won't be uh, good enough. Or, uh, and that, that just doesn't seem right.